In this video, I'm going to show you the correct way to use the newly released amazing DeepSeq R1 reasoning model inside N8N. The reason I'm going to say correct way is a lot of people are actually showing you the wrong way to use this inside N8N because they have an older version of N8N and it's not going to work if you have the updated version. I'm going to show you step by step what I'm talking about. But just quickly, let's talk about what DeepSeq R1 is and why this is such an incredible release in the ecosystem of AI. So first of all, AI reasoning model with DeepSeq R1 are extremely important in the AI ecosystem because they're designed to think through problems, make decisions, and solve complex challenges just like we do. Now, for that reason, they are a lot slower compared to normal GPT-4s of the world because of the fact that they require thinking and complex reasoning. And therefore, they actually use a lot more computing power and they're very, very expensive. So for example, if you were to compare uh, the GPT-4-01 model or the OpenAI-01 model, right? The input token is $15 per million token. The output is $60 per million token. And that's why if you have a ChatGPT subscription, they only allow you, I think, 10 per week or something uh, similar to that. And then also if you're using it through the API, it becomes very, very expensive. But the DeepSeq R1 model, which again is on par as far as the performance with the GPT or the OpenAI 01 model is extremely cheap. So for context, it's 55 cents per million token and $2.19 per million output token. This is incredibly important and incredibly cheap because of the fact that for bigger and more complex problems, these models are amazing. So for example, for solving things in the medical industry, research, or things like enabling robots to navigate the world, or just for personal reasons, creating personalized recommendations to make our lives easier, these models are perfect. Therefore, if you want to use these models inside NADN to make your workflows a lot smarter, and if you're creating automations that are for more complex workflows that require reasoning, this is the perfect way to use this inside NADN. So let's go ahead and I'm going to show you step by step how to use this newly released DeepSeq R1 inside NADN. If you're new to the channel, my name is Zubair. My YouTube channel, my school community is all about building amazing AI agents with no code tools like NADN. Our community is incredible. They are full of passionate people who are there to learn and collaborate with each other. I'm going to put the link in the description. So make sure you join because it's an amazing space for you to get involved. Because again, the best way to learn, in my opinion, is through a community. And this community is amazing because it's not only me, but Alex and Alexandra, who are all three of us are NADN ambassadors, have combined our efforts to create the best possible community for everybody to learn. We have a great classroom section where you can grab any of these AI automations, the workflows, you can directly import it from right here, the JSON template, and you can use all of the automations. On top of that, we have amazing classroom section where regardless of your background, we have introductory series, we have exclusive deep dive topics on voice AI agents, factor databases, AI agents, and much, much more. We also have an amazing community automation workflows. Our community is always building new workflows, new ways to use NADN on their personal lives, on their businesses. So you can grab all of this right here. We also have a calendar section. We have daily calls, tech support. We have live built every Thursday. Alexandra builds a new project. So you can join the call and follow her along as she builds a new project live build. If you have any questions, obviously you can always post them in the community. Somebody or myself will get back to you within a few hours. And also if you miss any of the calls, we have our call recording section in the classroom where you can access everything from there. Again, if you're serious about learning AI, how to build AI agents with no code tool like any then this is the perfect space to be. I'm gonna put the link in the description, make sure you join and I'll see you there. All right, let's get back to the video. If you have updated your NADN instance, the user interface is completely different. That's why I'm saying that a lot of people that are showing you on YouTube how to use this inside NADN with the AI agents through the open AI's chat model is actually wrong. So make sure you are in the latest model and the way to check that is you see right here, if there's any updates available, it'll show you update one or two, and then you'll go to admin panel and update. And then once you come back, so what you need to do is, again, this is just for test purposes. You can always add this. So for example, when I created Jarvis, again, you can add that here for uh, making these uh, more complex workflows, but I'm just gonna show you just on the chat model how to use this quickly. So that way you can be on your own as far as like using this for further workflows. So let's go ahead and actually just do a chat. I'm just gonna add a, AI agent here. So I'm going to go to advanced AI, click on AI agent. All right. So now let's go ahead and back out. So I'm going to show you how to attach this. Whoops. All right. So go ahead and click on chat model here. 
and you're going to use OpenAI chat model, but I'm going to show you how to use Open Router instead. So you're going to come to your credentials. Obviously, if you're using uh, OpenAI, this is going to have your OpenAI account and then all of the models here that are loading is going to be GPT models, of course. So the way to add this DeepSeek R1 quickly on your workflow is going to the credentials here. You will create a brand new credentials and on the API key. So this is the big difference here before on the older versions of NADN, this base URL right here was actually inside or outside of the credentials. It was right here where you had the option to add this base URL um, right here. But now it's gone, as you can see. So if you are seeing the base URL here, it means you have the older version of NNN. So make sure you update that because that's very, very important. Because now, like I said, on the new credentials, the base URL is sitting right here. So the way to do that is, first of all, you have to have an open router account. So you would sign in on your account. You would head over to your uh, account here and just click on the keys. You will create a new API key and then you will come back here. And all you have to do is just paste the API key right here. So once you do that, it's very important for you to change the base URL. So then you would go over to your, you can just go to DeepSeek R1 or any other model. And if you just scroll down in the bottom, so right here, this is where you just, you can use this open AI or open router API directly. All you have to do is just uh, copy the URL here, right here. And if you copy this, you'll come back and you'd paste it on your base URL because I've already created several accounts. I'm going to show you actually. So if I go to my open router account here, all right, there you go. So, right. So this is my API key that I posted and this is where I pasted that base URL. And again, same thing. It's just open router.ai slash API slash B1. And again, that's exactly what this is right here. Okay. So that's what you do. You make sure you paste that there and then you'll go ahead and get your connection with test will say successfully. So now again, before the base URL was here, now it's inside. The problem is now, unfortunately, this drop down is completely gone. So with this new um, user interface, this drop down where before you had the option to click on this drop down and all of the models that was inside open router were available. Now it's not. So the workaround for this is to actually click on expression. And here's what we need to do. We need to manually copy this. So if we go back to our model here, so you whatever uh, uh, LLM you're using or whatever AI model you're using, when you go inside that model in the bottom, you can see right here, you can just copy this right here or just click this little button. This will copy this model name here. And now all you have to do is come back and literally paste this here. And now you should be, you, you will be able to use this and all the models that are inside open router. So let's go ahead and don't worry about this little, uh, sign here and I'm going to show you the proof to actually you can use this right here because we can go ahead and check out our activity. So if you come over to your uh, account here and click on activity. So this is where you will see all of the different uh, models or, or you have interacted with through the open router API. And the last one I used was the Google Gemini flash. So I'm going to show you exactly now how to use this DeepSeq R1. We're going to test it out and I'll come back and show you that it's actually worked. All right. So let's go back. I'm going to go ahead. You don't need to do uh, memory or tools and stuff like that, because like I said, I'm just testing this. You can always just replace your normal workflow by adding the open and chat model and going through step just that I walk you through right here to add it into your more uh, complex workflow. So let's go ahead and click on chat and let's go ahead and test this out. So I'm going to ask it a complex question. What is the meaning of life? Right? So now it's going to go ahead and process it. And if you did everything right, this is going to reach out to that deep seek model and it's going to pro process our request. And as you can see, it does take longer because like I said, this model is designed for complex reasoning and it will give you a more, um, a longer answer and, and a, a complex answer as well. And there you go. Say the meaning of life is deeply personal, philosophical, blah, blah, blah. Right? So now let's go ahead and check to see if, uh, indeed we use this model. So if I go back to my open router, and I just refresh the page right now. Again, like I said, the latest model last time I used was Gemini Flash. So if I refresh the page, there you go. Perfect, right? This is DeepSeek R1. I just used it. And as you can see, a little, it's a little more expensive, but believe me, it's nothing comparing to, compared to the OpenAI uh, O1 model. And you can see right here on the right hand side, the provider DeepSeek, and we did everything correctly. 
So again, make sure you're using this method if you have the latest version of NADN installed, because if you use the previous method or some of these guys who are showing you on YouTube, it's not going to work. It's going to completely uh, confuse you. And I actually had done the same mistake previously when I did my video, when I showed how to use the DeepSeq V3 model, I was using the previous uh, model of NADN or the previous version of NADN and it didn't look like this and a lot of people got confused so on my school community I made an update to make sure people are aware of that. All right well hopefully you found this video helpful if you like it please like and subscribe and if you're serious about learning how to use NADN in your complex workflows and business and personal life make sure you join the school community. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.